Jalapeno pieces. Hello and welcome everybody to the latest instalment of the War of Inheritance. Uh, hope you're all having an excellent evening. We certainly are. Oh, yeah. Ah! Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> and Murray is back once again. And in what is becoming a time honoured tradition, uh, I'm going to give a brief recap and then I'm going to ask everyone what the most important thing that happened was. So, from a GM's perspective, the party awoke in jail on a Corinthian boat, befriended a neighbouring wizard who was equally locked in a cell, played by the wonderful Murray. Uh, Freya returned from her rocky montage <laughs> and busted the group out of the boat and into further jeopardy, where they started a fight with the Freya hardest things wrong. around. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> and managed to eke out a draw. Uh, Jacob, you weren't here, but you were watching. Mm. What was the most important oh. thing that happened last session? Uh, the most important thing that happened last session was uh, Iris was being tortured. Mm. Well, you say torture, they say, okay, torture's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Murray, what was the most important thing that happened last session? I broke out of jail finally. Mm. Hurrah! Mm -hmm. You've been in jail for quite some I've time. I've been there a couple of months, I say. Oh my god. <laughs> Freya, <laughs> buckets were an option. Freya. <laughs> <laughs> What was the most important thing that happened last session? Freya flew for the first time. Oh yes, it was chicken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very briefly. Freya chicken. turned into a chicken. That's right? slightly um. less flightless than Freya <laughs> normally is. And Neve, what were, uh, or Amy rather, what was the most important thing that happened last session? Um, we downed either Brittany or Courtney. Not sure which one. Clarissa. That's uh, the one. You, you actually, you, I smashed her in the face. <laughs> yes, you did. You did. You have downed Brittany. Mm. And I um, found a wonderful 20. way of using their anti-magic bracelets against them, which mm. I was very pleased with. That's correct. So, uh, when we ended last session, Jorg had taken several crossbow bolts and dropped onto the table, and is currently lying on top of Iris, uh, who has just been awoken in quite some pain. Uh, We'll get to exactly what happened there in just a moment. Uh, but there were crossbow bolts that are coming and you can hear guards approaching the open doorway. Immediate reactions. Um, Shit. <laughs> that's a good immediate reaction. <laughs> um, I am going to shape water. Uh, okay, what are you going to do? Uh, what water are you shaping? Um, yes. Uh, there's no windows here, is there? Uh, no. no. God damn it. Um, right. I'm gonna... Bilge. <laughs> this is Ooh. a terrible idea, actually. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to pull water from somewhere <laughs> in this boat. Right. Um, and I'm going to create a wall of ice in the door. Are these personal cabins? Wrong. There must be toilets in there. Uh, Great. Okay, Amazing. right, yeah, the nearest <laughs> source of water that you discover <laughs> is indeed in the... The head. The yeah, there's a toilet. It's pretty gross. This water is brown and sludgy. You know I don't want to break through that. That's now. fine. You know what the wonderful thing is? Like once you freeze it, like great. Okay, right. so you're going to create a wall of iced poop yep. uh, to seal off. This session has started well. Uh, <laughs> okay, you mean to go on? Can you? Yeah, you, you do this. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll. Yeah, I'm right. not going to make you roll. Yeah. You pull. Uh, you, you guys see a horrible floating mass <laughs> that I'm not looking at it. That moves across the room and then <laughs> freezes up in front of the doorway. There's a dunk dunk of uh, a couple of crossbow bolts that hit into it. It's nice. not going to last forever. Neve, you are there. You have to maintain focus on yeah, this. Yes, I am focusing. But on you that. have you have frozen a mass of poop in the doorway. <laughs> ah, gross. And uh, the guards are awe. the wow. guards are hammering on it. You can see indistinct shapes. Iris. Everything is pain. Uh, you feel very strangely like the connection that you have to Colm and the connection that you have to the things inside the pillars has been uh, awoken and, I mean, it's been poked at by a foreign source of magic. They have been trying to figure out how you work and they've done Me it too. <laughs> yeah, but, they, but they've done it with no care for your well being. As a consequence, you have gained a level of exhaustion. You mm. have Merely the 15 hit points that you that we rolled dice for to determine that you had. Uh, look out, they've got some sort of pooper man, says, says Chad. And it's a niche. Just the, the very best pooper man. Uh, yeah, your your head is swimming. Uh, uh, and there's a, uh, a yorg on me, isn't there? There is. The last you remembered, the wizards were on the boat and about to cast a spell at you, and this is where you've woken up. Okay, so I've got no memory of anything. Correct. Else. Okay. 
Um, well, I think the first thing I'm going to try and do is get my bearings, and um, which means getting Yorg off me so I can sit up. Sure, you push. Your, it's he's quite heavy, uh, <laughs> but, yeah. but you manage to just about roll Yorg off you. Um, what's around? Ah, Neve. You sit up. You are in. Iris. <laughs> Neve is currently <laughs> focusing on a wall of frozen Shit. sewer water. <laughs> uh, and there are people shouting and crossbow bolts hitting it from the other side. It's not going to be there forever. You can see that there are several bookcases with a whole bunch of highbrowter arcane tomes. You're uh, on a table. You are Your legs are strapped down, but your arms are not. Uh, but you can undo that. It's not yeah. a problem. And uh, in the room with you are Neve, an unconscious Yorg, uh, the Lady Freya, uh, an unconscious wizard, who you remember, yep. you last saw her pointing something at you. Uh, there's a whole bunch of arcane implements and utensils lying around. This is some kind of a magic laboratory. And Horatio is there, right? And Horatio, indeed. You see, well, so there I'm is... in Clarissa's room. Uh... You're on the other side of the door, no! Are you on the other side I of the door? I think I'm on the other side in the other room. I'm, I'm on the other side of Pui door. <laughs> oh no. It's not a great place to be. No, but fortunately, there's books everywhere. There That's true. are books everywhere. You're in Clarissa's room. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, there is a wall this, that you can... Fortunately, nobody's come this way, but they're going to. Yeah, mm. you, you see guards starting to make their way towards you, uh, towards the door of the room that you're in. Right. What do you do? I grab a book. You grab a book. Cool. I okay. grab a book, I open it up, and I just find the first spell I can. <laughs> I stand there poised, pointing at the guards. I take one more step. And I'll murder all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> In <laughs> intimidate chat. Yes. Wow, don't anger a wizard. Mm. Uh, intimidate. It's subtle and... So that's your charisma. Crick to one of you yeah. pricks move, I'll execute every single one of you motherfuckers. Crick index. <laughs> <laughs> that is cocked. You managed to cock a dice in the dice tower, I'm impressed. Mm. Uh, roll, roll again. Oh, that's fine. Only here. Yeah, that's fine. It's worse. <laughs> yes, it is worse. Worse than cocked. Five. <laughs> Um, plus your charisma? It's not enough. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, they look at you and smile. They say... That's 18. <laughs> 18? Yeah, plus charisma. I've got 14. No, 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 no. plus your charisma. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, so they, uh, they look at you and they say, you don't know how to use that. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. All that I do. <laughs> so I cast... This spell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you've got a spell book open in front of you. Uh, and you look down and you can see there's a whole bunch of like geometric runes. Mm -hmm. And you start reading them. And as you read these and you encamp the High Browta, you guys can hear High Browta being chanted from the room next door. Yeah. And the runes peel themselves up, the ink on the page lifting off and shimmering in a golden lettering and arranging itself into an equation that you are desperately trying to solve as you read these <laughs> up. Uh, roll me an arcana check, please. Arcana. You're pretty good at that. Uh, 13. Great, you have cast the spell. Oh, no, now plus, roll me a, plus 7. That's plus fine. Seven. 20 is amazing. There roll me go. a d100, which is both of your d10s. Yep. Uh, roll me them. Uh, uh, and we'll see what happens. Because mm. as you cast an unknown and Third, unfamiliar spell, Ah, barbarian. Just roll them. <laughs> also, Murray, you are furthest from the mic, and they uh, they want to hear your lovely so voice. So you need to be just oh, a little bit off. Twenty. Oh, 20, 20, 20, and the other one. And that one's good. It's good. Come on. Thirty-eight. Come on. Point to it. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, no, off the table. Twenty-seven. 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 Okay. Uh, you can teleport up to sixty feet. Um, <laughs> you go, uh -huh, and there's a beep, and you phase out of the room. The gods look around stunned for a moment and uh, somewhere in the room there is a boof, and uh, Horatio appears. All of uh, Horatio uh, is a uh, dark skinned browter with uh, neat cropped hair which is now boof, Einsteined all over the place and is there Looking slightly oh. shaken, you were Yep. You oh, yeah. you, you're in the room. Right? I've never used that one before. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, this is Horatio. It's all right. He's he's a friend. He's a browser wizard, but he was captured by these two. Um, Iris, are you all right? Can you move? Uh, uh, ow. Yes, I think so. We, we need to find a way to stabilize Yorg and, and 
Get the hell out of here. Is your die? Can you do that blink uh, thing again? The blink. One second. Um, is your dying? Uh, your is in a very bad way. He's had a lot of arrows in it. Uh, uh, we're just on the off stance. I will spare the dying. That's again. fine. Um, you spare the dying on him. He will need proper medical attention uh, because he's got a bunch of crossbow bolts going yep. into him. But at the moment, he is, out. he is not dying. Yeah, that's that's correct. Freya, can you find us a way out that's not this door? Freya picks up her sword. Uh, I believe she was disarmed at the end of the And she was uh, disarmed. Careless child, you must not let that happen again. You let it happen too. A warrior who loses their blade is no How warrior. How can we get out of this? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, she's picking up the sword. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Is that Brittany on the floor? Uh, there is Brittany on the floor, yes. I'm running over to Brittany and I'm searching her body. For a book. You easily find Britney's spell. Oh, oh man! Oh, 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 oh. I have been wanting to bring this out since this all started. <laughs> Congratulations, you have access to a high level wizard spell book. Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> we need some way of moving York's body as well. Ah, I can't carry him. I see opponents. Tell the witch to drop the barrier. We will end them all. <laughs> Their numbers are no matter. Freya is going to go stand up by, by the side of the barrier. Okay. Um, parley? <laughs> I'm going to go, everybody get behind the table. I behind the table? the table over, get behind it. Okay, Iris is, you've undone yeah, the yeah. traps, that's fine, no problems. Uh, you, you roll York, it's really hard. York is big and heavy and very difficult to move. Do you have a spell that could help us with York? I will help if I can move York. That's fine. So the two of you drag Yorg back yep. away, you upend the table. Wait. Is the wand still around? The wand is on the floor. Ooh, the, can wand I pick up that, the wand. The wand that turns people into chickens. You can I pick up the wand? You can pick up the wand. You pick up the wand. Freya picks up the wand. That's fine. Freya's holding the wand. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Why not? What? <laughs> I put just in my glasses. <laughs> Should be the motto. Wait, we could. I can't believe I'm saying this. We could turn York into a chicken. He'll be easier to transport like that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Freya. He's got going... crossbow bolts. Freya doesn't you know, know how to use a wand. Yeah, but the chicken won't have. Freya is waving the wand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Freya is waving the wand around. Horatio, you are looking at Freya waving a wand around. Oh, she's trying to stab Give it your... here! <laughs> Take Oi, the wand off mine! Of Point it at okay, your... Okay, okay. Right. Uh, I, will, I will remind... Pat says Auntie's tastier when he dies. <laughs> <laughs> He's about will, to be fried. I will remind the group uh, that Brittany said that the wand shouldn't be used more than once per day, and she's already used it twice. I haven't heard that. That's, <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, you heard what? All right, cool. Once in a which... day by her. <laughs> oh, maybe. Sure. Okay. It's the old chicken trick. I used to learn this in high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you pick up a wand and you feel uh, that there is a spell that has been carved. You can see that it's a, a stone wand that's had hybrid out of runes written down on the sides of it, and it, the spell that is written on it is really complex. I mean, this is this is some advanced level stuff, but. You're pretty sure that you could make this work. You're just also oh, not entirely fine. certain the wand will survive the process. No. Okay, fair enough. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Great. Okay, okay so uh, please roll me unleashed. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, roll me a. You're a wizard. That's mm -hmm. fine. Roll me an Arcana check. Uh, sorry. No, I don't. Know. I roll me. I roll me a D100. Two D10 again, please. Two D10. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that what she actually said was using the wand multiple times per day was really, really cool, and you should do it a lot. Fifty six. Fifty six. Uh, 86. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Several things happen all at the same time. Fantastic. You point the wand at Yorg, and you hold on for a second. Everybody looks, and Horatio is just uh, uh, carrying one, doing the other. And he speaks a word of uh, Hybrata. Uh, you speak Hybrata. You understand the word that he says. Um, uh, the word that he says is change. <laughs> and the wand crumbles to dust. Yorg that was my wand. turns into a chicken. 
Good! You, you are concentrating it. on a polymorph spell. If you cast another spell with concentration, the polymorph spell will end. Ah! Oh. Okay, good. Um, so I don't have to concentrate <laughs> on this. <laughs> we just need to get him off the boat. Horatio, get if, him! If I just take it off the page, I don't have to concentrate on it, do it, so I can still focus on that. But just You can fling... You want to burn spells from... Yes, you can yes, just I'm burn there. spells from the book. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Brittany, wear mine at all. Grab this chicken. Okay. <laughs> Get behind the, the table. Um, I'm going to cast fire under. Under. There we go. Head under the wing. What's the plan? <laughs> I'm going to sh- cast fireball at the wall, and we're going to escape out of the hole that oh comes from god. it. Oh my god. Hence why I'm asking you to get behind the, yep. <laughs> the wall in the side of the boat. Yes. That's a float. Cool. That's fine. Yeah. Are we above the water level? You are. Okay. Yeah. No problems. Uh. So, are you going to re- right? Arcana check. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Plus seven, plus seven. Uh, <laughs> eleven. Just gonna set fire to the yeah, eleven is great. Oh, thank God. Um, eleven is sufficient to cast fireball. Roll me a d100. Um, <laughs> so, right. This one. Um, Horatio seven. gets you all behind the yeah. table, mm-hmm. turns Yorg into a chicken. Yeah, we've done that. Which you're grabbing. Mm-hmm. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Okay, so uh, there is a and as Horatio reads the words from the book, they lift and again you see the ink peeling off. It sparkles and it forms shimmering golden runes in the air, which state this looks like a really big maths equation, which Horatio solves and there is a uh, I, you don't need to take me safe because we're not strictly in combat, but you are Glad that you're behind the table because you can feel the wall of pressure. The side of the boat is blown open. There are splinters and bits of wood everywhere. The flaming explosion rocks back through the room. Um, and for the next minute, you must oh, shout when you speak. Oh, fair enough. So you don't need to actually do, uh, you just speak yeah. slightly louder, but Horatio is now yelling at the top of his lungs everything he says for the next minute. This was slightly bald. <laughs> uh, there is a sudden I got a nat 20 on my concentration. The wall of ice is still there. That is a good thing to know. Uh, Fire resistant pooey ice. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Who knew? Uh, It does smell, however. It's emanating a really bad stench into the room, uh, which is being cleared by the sudden gust of wind that has come in from the fact that you are now open to the elements. The boat lurches a little bit, (laughs) and uh, some of the books fly open, and there are bits of, like I said, it's a big arcane laboratory. Paperwork is flying everywhere. Um, I'm going to just if this is, we're in an arcane laboratory is you there are. anything made of the same material as my pendant my ring that black no stone? there is not yeah. is York's axe here can anyone see York's axe uh, I'll take me an investigation joke oh, I'm going to break down your mm. no I'm not 10 okay uh, on a 10 you cannot immediately find York's axe oh. and your wall of ice is starting to shatter we're going to have to go Swimming? Hmm? I fancy it did. Yeah. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Keep a hold of that chicken. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to hold on to the chicken. This is the plan, okay. Um, I'm going to bring myself um, some ice steps to get down, Elsa style. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna have to abandon the wall of ice. Yeah. I'm going to be the last one. I'm going to wait for these guys to go. <laughs> okay, oh, so you, you, you guys are going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just Are you carrying out. a chicken? I'm carrying a book. I need oh, to keep the ink from spoiling. All right, fine. Everyone get to the side. Everyone get to the side. And swoosh. There we go. Everybody grab as many books as you can. Okay, you can create. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right, okay. You've got arms full of stolen books. <laughs> you make it to the side of the boat. And Neve uh, manages to gently slide you down with a chute made of ice into the the Ellesmere. Uh, Not to the side? Uh, can I reach the back? No, it's a, okay. you, can, can, you can create a five foot uh, cool. block of ice and I'll allow I you to... Closer than that no, sorry, I will allow you to lower mm, yourselves mm. down. Uh, that's fine. Uh, chat says, this is a horrible plan. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I don't see why. We're out of the boat. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a way to wake up, Iris. Yeah. Uh, you have to sit down. I will allow, this is a fine use of the spell, and you're not that high up. You don't have to take, you won't take any damage mm-hmm. uh, from the ice sliding down, which is all right. 
But I would like anybody who is trying to keep anything specifically dry uh, to take me a sleight of hand check. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can keep the York chicken dry. Um, that is sleight of That's hand. That's fine. Yeah, York, ch York chicken is dry. It's not hot. Right. Yep, yep, 14. Looking, at, looking for a 10. Oh, yeah. 18. Uh, 18. 18. So good. So nine. Good. Nine. Um, oh, Horatio. Horatio, you uh, go, it's going to be fine. <laughs> and you go straight down and about half the book gets a little bit waterlogged. No. Although uh -huh. you'd hope that like, there might the be protective spells in place. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's been kept dry on a... You uh, still have your things on you. Um, mm. Because they haven't taken them off you. Okay. So that's a 16. Got you. Uh, so on a 16... You oh, and my book. That's more important. It is. On a 16, you managed to keep both dry. That's fine. Good. Uh, and you are treading water in, uh, in the Ellesmere and making your way to the side. Uh, you clamber up and out of the Ellesmere, and you can see that just off to one side of you is the Carithian camp. Oh, shit. Um... Is it, are we the same the same side of the boat as we happen to blast a hole in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hide in the trees. Good choice. Let's um, do that. Okay. Uh, so the water trees. Freya goes. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> runs out to hide I'm not, in the I'm tree. not leaving. But I am staying uh, nearby. Yeah. Can you make me a concentration myself. check, please? It's a constitution save. Roll me a d20. Constitution saving throw. Okay. So you add your constitution modifier of two. Yorg is still a chicken. You have not lost concentration right. on a polymorph spell. Congratulations. Otherwise he would be drowning. Otherwise he would be drowning. <laughs> Again. I love that Yorg in water <laughs> animation. Uh, you are out. Uh, who is the worst at stealth in the group, please? Mm. Uh, plus five. Plus two. I can't find it. <laughs> stealth is down here. Probably you. Mm. It's me. Plus one. Great. Can you please roll me stealth for the group? Somebody might want to give you some guidance on this. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Horatio. Yes. <laughs> Stop talking so loud. <laughs> oh, help him. Yeah, would you like to roll me a stealth check at disadvantage? Which means you roll twice and take the worst result. Oh, even though we get a guy. No, with, with a plus four. So six and then roll again. Eight. Okay, so you keep six, no, you seven, a and then a D4. Add a D4. Triangle one. And then this is how sneaky the group is. What do you get? Nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> uh, is that with your plus one? Yes. yes. Good. So a nine is the DC for the group to be discovered <laughs> by the Corinthian camp. Wait, uh, who roll a five? Okay, cool. So <laughs> you, somebody, clamps their hand around uh, Horatio's mouth. Knee it's goes, you. Oh, it's Freya. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> who is making very loud squeaking noises <laughs> as you escort Horatio gently towards the trees? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to be fair, like there's a lot of shouting coming from the boat. People are distracted. Uh, they are. Well, the reason that you are able to get out is because everybody is looking at the huge boom in the boat. And there was an explosion and you guys jumped straight out. Uh, so some people saw something hit the water, but Lots there's fire and shouting and now guards looking out the side. And you can see Clarissa looking out, looking uh, angrier than I think you have ever yeah. seen her, Horatio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> oh, what happened to Brittany? Uh, good mm. question. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you leave the smoking uh, vessel, the Corinthian ship, and you head into the woods. Right. What is your plan? <laughs> to get out of the earshot. <laughs> the dwarves have their boat down river. river. The dwarves have their boat down river. Okay, this cool. Is Sorry, it's warped. It's a little... <laughs> Um, uh, uh, we were... I mean my boat. <laughs> <laughs> we were hitching passage with a group of dwarves. Is this why I have a... to call her captain? Yes. yes. No. They are, she's you, don't not their to, captain. you don't have to call her captain. Um, oh, I used to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh... <sighs> Sorry. Hello. It's uh, Murray. No, I'm not. I'm Murray. <laughs> 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 Murray's my nickname. <laughs> he shouts. <laughs> um, Murray stops shouting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you did. Horatio stops shouting. Um, um, oh. Right then, I think what we want to do, um, if we make our way through the forest this way, we can then cut back down to the river and see if the coast is clear. Can I come to a hairdryer to dry this book? Do you have mending? 
Oh, I can't. I'm still concentrating on him being a chicken. So ah, uh, you, mending's not concentration. You can yeah. cast. Oh, me. mending! I'm using mending on my book. Great. Mm. You cast mending on. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you could. You you cast mending, and it's actually mending can't repair magical items. Um, mm. And the spell gets just inherent dry the paper. Wait. If only somebody could. Uh, could yeah. you give me your suck book? the water out of it? Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> take water out of the pages. Absolutely fine. Hooray! You see droplets start to form on the cover of the book and then it's like a like a globule of water rises from it and oh, suddenly so you have a crisp book again. Um, <laughs> the water has a little bit of ink in it. Oh. Just a tiny bit. Careful. I'm sure that'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, Does I, it have woob? No. No woob. No I woob. recommend getting rid of that water as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay. I am going to throw this glob of inky water back towards the Corinthian camp. That's fine, it goes <laughs> and it lands on the ground. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> there we go. Done. Uh, no magic so there. so cool that you could do that. Mm. No runes. No runes. No chanting, nothing. no nothing. How do you do that? No, that's not the kind of magic that I do. It's, that's the only sort of magic that we can do. No, it's not. Shh. Mm. Shh. Oh, shower sparks. <laughs> <laughs> See, this yes. is what they were trying to find Let's out. Let's go to the boat. They were trying Let's to figure out how they work. Are you okay, yeah. Iris? I, I'll be fine, but... Okay. They were probing you with a chicken one. <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I think they just had the chicken one, Horatio. I don't think that's what they were using. Uh, Although... You never had to tell with those two, to be honest. Um, anyway, you're feeling no any side effects, no aches and pains anywhere, no several any perforations. I've, several. I've got a, I've got a potion if you need one. I'll be fine. Alright. Save it for you. Yeah. Alright, let's get to safety. <laughs> um, I will um, find us a way through the forest. Survival place. I'm good at that. You are good at that. Nope, not today, we're not. That's a nat one. That's a nat one, guys. We're, uh, <laughs> we're back towards <laughs> Inland <Indian cells>. Begins. <laughs> you just stroll into the camera. A camera ah, ah, crosses your path. Back we go. Okay, uh, on a nat one. So, you are pretty sure that you've been heading towards the boat, but you wanted to skirt up and around the Corinthian camp, so you, wanted to, you, you took a, a long way around. And then you headed north for a bit, and then you turn and look around, and you realise that a lot of your familiar signs for moving through the woodlands are betrayed by the terrain that you're in. The moss is growing on strange sides of the trees, what? and the light is moving strangely through this area. You are no longer certain the direction that you have been travelling, and you cannot be sure that you can make your way back. Everyone stop for a moment, I think. We might have stepped into some sort of sphere of magical influence. I've never no, heard of no once before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, where we are. <laughs> Not the um, outdoorsy type, no, right? Yeah, yeah. I um yeah, I wanna I wanna That's investigate it. this. I wanna find out is is the reason that things are weird, is this a magical effect? Is this a, what like, mechanism are you using to try and detect magic? Um need runes. Yeah. Do you have the detect okay, magic spell prepared? No, no, I don't. Um, I just want to. That's what it's for. We can just. I didn't have to do it. You do every little thing. There we go. Um, and then change it. Hang on, what's that? That's okay. Oh, Having a conversation. What's no, 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 What's mathematics? Mathematics. Basically, they come. It's basically what makes everything up. It's the language of the universe. Of stuff. Yes, of stuff. Simply. So that's how we work. Maths is stuff. Maths is stuff. Okay. So we take those mathematics of the universe and we rearrange them to suit our whim, and that is how we create magic. Can you rearrange them to give my wand back? Unfortunately not, no. Oh, so you can't fix them. Well, I can mend things, but unfortunately that was a magical item that is just completely and utterly gone now. It's the same within the book. You can mend I'm... things? Um, I can mend things, yes. I'll give you a, a tiny little scrap of paper. Can you mend that? Okay. <laughs> um, so, do you if if all you have is the tiny little scrap, it is it is not mendable. But if you have an mm. item that is damaged, then it can be it can be fixed. Did you take the whole booklet? Yeah. That, yeah. Well, I took all the bits that fell apart. Great. Right. Okay. So what you have is a oh, booklet that has been crumbled. This is going to be a lovely special effects moment. And uh, so Horatio, yeah, mm. you're pretty sure it will take a bit of time. You have to mm. stop for a second, but you have stopped for we a second while Neve mm. is going around like licking trees and seeing if she can work <laughs> out where you are. So you. What is this? Uh... Just a straightforward investigation, okay. which is 
19. I'll tell you what you yeah. do in just a second. But this is a short rest. This is good. So, um, yes, this is indeed a short rest if you mm. want to spend any of your things. Yes, I do. But you gain... Uh, so Horatio sits down mm. and there's a... It's like a, a reporter's notebook, effectively, mm. is what this ogre was carrying. And you start gently tracing some runes. Mm. This isn't combat magic. This is detail-oriented work, which you're really good at. An answer set. Yeah. I'm really good at this is This is your wheelhouse. And so you start, <laughs> thank you, chat. Um, <laughs> and so you start piecing together some golden rings that hang around this. And this is this is fascinating. That's weird. And That's cool. <laughs> uh, and it takes it takes quite a while because there's a lot of these charred, burnt, flaked bits of paper. But when you're ready, you're pretty sure that you've got what it takes, and you speak a word. The word he says is mend in high browser. Mm. And the pages reform, and the curled, burnt paper unfurls once again. The faded ink becomes uh, more apparent, and the paper, the, the booklet, mends itself and reforms, undoing the damage that was done to it by fire. Congratulations, my good choice. Here you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the benefit also, of chat, if you're not sure what this is, this was taken from one of the practice ogres. Oh, yes. yes. Um, also, uh, short rest, mechanical ah, yes. benefits. Mechanical benefits are short rest. Ooh, yeah, I have like nice two hit dice. That's a good choice. I've got a new spell book. I've no, got a three It's a long rest. Seven, uh, seven plus six is 13 for me. Uh, that's a good number um, to be on. <laughs> so I spend one of my D8, yes, one of my hit dice. You can spend uh, as many as you want. If you want to spend more, you may. But uh, one is fine, yes, you can spend a D8. And you will add, your, and you'll add your constitution modifier. Mm -hmm. so How many of these can I learn? 13, uh, 20, nice. Uh, you can't learn level 3. Okay, uh, the oh. chat said, I love how Neve's mind works. Me, lost in the woods, must be weird magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Spell. Speaking of which, I, I've been investigating on a 19. What have I discovered? Uh, on a 19, uh, you have discovered that uh, these... Yeah, on a 19, you've discovered that these woods are home to some creatures, clearly. You can see evidence that the trees themselves are being lived in. Oh. And... As a consequence, you can see some of the moss has been scraped off and some of the foliage has been moved around and they're really good at covering their tracks, which is why you walked around and you were thrown as to the direction that you were moving in. But, yeah, mm -hmm. but you have found that there are things that live here. You haven't been able to find any of them. Size? Idea of size? Uh, small? Human? Uh, no, s s small is the, the in D&D terms they are small creatures, which small means creatures. things about goblin sized. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, what does the notebook say? The notebook is uh, written in uh, charcoal, not ink, sorry. Uh, it's written in charcoal and there are, you can see a bunch of markings that you don't quite understand. Is it in Estalian? And there are some words in Estalian mm -hmm. and then some more markings that you do not understand. Take me an investigation check. Um... Well, you suspect the words you see are friend, uh, fight, ogre, help, learn. You think this is probably a very abridged dictionary mm. of some kind. Mm. Oh. <laughs> ah. So if we can find ogres, we might be able to tell them that we are friends. Mm. Ogres. That's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Horatio, what do you know about ogres? Very little. They're not that much worth looking over as normal animals, to be honest. They're pretty thick. Mm -hmm. um, they'll eat you if they will eat you. You're, if, yeah, they're bored or you annoy them. Who the hell would want to talk to ogres? Well, no, I think it's the ogres that want to talk to us. What? We've. <laughs> This is unprecedented. Get we, out. we have come across ogres speaking in full sentences. Yeah. Like the first ones that we met just said practice, but like the last ones mm. that we saw, they said, I just want to learn your name. Were you on mushrooms at the time? I no. can see you licking trees. <laughs> <laughs> speaking ogres. Speaking ogres. Oh. Freya, 
Mm -hmm. uh, can you please take me a perception check? As, uh, rather, what is your passive perception is a better question, which is 10 plus your perception. Plus one. Oh. Perception is plus one. <clears throat> okay, so your passive perception is 11. Okay, cool. Oh no, sorry, plus three. Plus three, fine. What's up, Horatio? It looks like uh, Guinevere's eye just opened up above your head. Hmm. These ogres, are they local? I think so. Do you think maybe the orcs have been training them? Hmm. Do they... Do they... <laughs> How close by to the site at the moment were they? North of the river. But beyond that... Ogres don't normally stay together one in was, groups. One was near the um, the first clay, uh, well that we purified. That's true, that was south of the river. But there have been more north since we've been north of the river. Nor have they. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up with you? Oh, sorry, Rick here just... is suddenly rubbing his hands with glee. <laughs> sorry, just, uh, just some research things. So I've just been, yeah, yeah, carry on, carry on. I need to study this book, sorry. Great. Uh, <laughs> have you got anything there about languages? No. Uh, well, I don't know, I haven't read it yet. Uh, <laughs> attention! <laughs> I'm trying to be, uh, someone is trying to steal me. Oh, I'll do a roll. <laughs> uh, <laughs> suddenly Freya's just great, rolling. <laughs> it's a great reaction. I do a roll. Um, Freya flings herself uh, to one side and Sh Shinsui rolls with you and you see something that is scaly and small disappear off into the bushes again. What? There's a lizard. Lizards. <laughs> lizards. They look like a kind of a humanoid lizard that is... A cabal. A, a, a cabal is what it is, yeah. It looks like a humanoid lizard, but Freya has probably never seen cabal. Before. No, of course. Um, <laughs> and he did not pay attention to me. <laughs> um, I would know of cabals even if I hadn't seen them. Yeah, you would. Um, I'm gonna roll me a uh, nature check, and I'll tell you what you know about cabals. Oh, tongues. Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-three. I wrote the book on cabals. Wow, you know a lot about cabals. Oh, okay, so speak. cabals are uh, small draconic-looking things. Mm -hmm. um, they are very intelligent, but they are they they work as a group. They're really good at working together. They are very good at disappearing and hiding. This is exactly the kind of place that they live. Mm, of course, it all makes sense. And they are trappers. They're trappers. On a 23, that's what you know. Okay. Do they speak a stallion? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see nobody move. I'm going to say to the trees at large, we mean you no harm. We're just passing through. There is no response. I think we should move out of the Cabold's territory. Um, How big is it? A Cabold? No, the territory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd imagine it's sort of this clearing is... Uh, you, you, oh, you were 23 is quite good. Um, <laughs> depends on the size of the group. Troop. It, yeah, the, the troop. But now <laughs> that I know what I'm looking at, can I sort of see where where the signs of activity are. Uh, you see signs of activity, but these guys are really good and they live here. Um, the answer is no, you can't. Okay. Let's leave and go north. Uh, Which way north? Are you? you are no, we see the sun. You are currently north of the Ellesmere. Yeah, you, uh, Neve has been able to reorient herself properly. Now. Is there any you... sign of uh, Garland's blessing here? Uh, not here, no. Okay. That's good. Um, well, why should we go north? Um, can I cast one of these spells without... Which spell? I want to play as locate object. Ooh. Is that, uh, does it have a concentration next to it? Nope. Then yes, you can. Uh, you're casting locate object. I am. Please cross locate object off the list. Britney's <laughs> spell book loses locate object. Yes! She's Destroy all, this spell book. She's also lost fireball. I'm sure she'll be really pleased <laughs> when she gets I'm it sure. back. That is if she's alive. Or... <laughs> if she gets it back. Uh, okay, so you don't need to roll anything. You cast locate object. No wild magic? Not the wild magic dice. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, wild magic. Thank you. Uh, so, yes, you locate what level spell is locate object? Two. Two. Okay, so, uh, yeah, roll me a arcana check, please. 
Don't roll me the wall magic dice. <laughs> that's, not, that's not enough. Roll me the wall magic dice. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, the, the D100. Keep the D100 handy because handy you're going to roll it a lot this session. Okay. <laughs> Which one am I rolling now? So it's these no. two that kind of look like spinning tops. Oh. Good. Good. That's fine. 52 again. 52 again? Um, let's have something different happen this time. Okay, cool. Um, I like this. So you read the spell, and in what is becoming familiar, Horatio opens this spell book, flicks through, sees a spell, his eyes light up, and as he casts it and reads the runes, they pull themselves off the page, and the spell book is shimmering but blank now. And a an eye appears on your forehead uh, as you cast this. A third eye. Guinevere's eye you were talking about? Mm. Uh, until, I've never seen it that lit. Uh, you now <laughs> have advantage on uh, perception checks um, until I tell you otherwise. Uh, <laughs> but you also have a runic third eye that has appeared on your in the middle of your forehead. Magic. <laughs> <clears throat> and as you cast the spell, you focus on uh, a particular image. Mm -hmm. And you uh, do you have any jewelry or anything on you? Probably not. I've been in prison. Probably not. You've been in prison. That's fair enough. Uh, you'll need some kind of a, a stick or a pendant or something to cut me a stick off of a tree. Someone, please. <laughs> uh, I'll take off I my spare ring. Oh, ah. dagger. Oh, I've got a dagger and a ring. <laughs> it's a mm -hmm. black stone ring. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. nice. That is. <laughs> uh, the ring pulls in a direction, and you are aware that the object that you are looking for is slightly uh, northwest. This way. <laughs> Wait, what are we looking for? You'll see. Horatio goes <laughs> walking off into the woods. I need that ring back. I follow after you. You'll get it back. <laughs> just, just finish with it. Well, he's now got Iris's ring. Uh, I suppose we'll have to for now. It's not worth it. He got locked up by the two student wizards. Mm. I'm sure that whoever this is could take care of him if it comes to that. Horatio, you've gone just like... Yeah. <laughs> what does Shunsui have to say? Uh, Shunsui is... Have you, are you holding Shunsui? Have you drawn well, I was just saying, I'm sure whoever this is will be able to help us out if it comes to that. <laughs> you draw Shunsui. Yes, yes, we will strike him down. <laughs> Fear that? not. We're on the same page on that one. <laughs> Fear not the trickery of wizards. And you start making your way through. Can I have a reflex save from you, please, Horatio? <laughs> Um, oh, you probably can, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swell, okay. So, uh, Horatio go. steps on, uh, and in fact, completely oblivious, concentrating on uh, maintaining this spell and being led by the pull of this ring through the woods, steps on a rope snare oh. and steps off it just in time, <laughs> walks straight through, and, and it's a and like a, a an empty loop of rope is now swinging in the trees. Did somebody say something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, York. Don't worry. Uh, Chicken York. Are you all just following? Right, slow down. <laughs> we should go while investigating. While we're much. going while we're going through the Cabal territory, there are going to be traps. Oh. Yes. Mm, that time. sounds like some guidance. Oh. Everyone gets a plus four. <laughs> Dice thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to make a ah, yeah, perception guidance. check to make your way through with that trap? With, with advantage. With it, hmm? no, because with advantage, because yes. you. Uh, uh, that's <laughs> yeah, what you roll. Um, roll again. You might get higher. No, I want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, what was it? 15. What's your perception? Just perception. I have a lot of glasses on. Sorry. 18. 18. Uh, okay, 18 is great. Uh, are you dead yet? No, you are not dead yet, Yorg. I am. Um, <laughs> you are yeah, a chicken. <laughs> you're still a chicken. Um, so, still carrying Yorg the chicken, uh, you make your way through the woods following Horatio the wizard, who says, Oh, there's another trap. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, look, there's a trap too. They're very good at making these, aren't they? Uh, and you find, as a group, you, yeah, you're spotting most of the traps. Uh, what did you roll, please? Um, it was 18. 18. 18 is pretty great. Let's see how. Great. Um, you're spotting most of the traps. However, Iris, can you please make me a reflex saving throw? Probably not. <laughs> uh, seven. A seven. Seven's great. Iris steps on a blanket of leaves, 
And no, not a blanket of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> not again. <laughs> and the leaves give way, and there is a pit that has been dug, and Iris, you fall down into it. It is quite deep. Can you please take me? She's not having a good day, is she? <laughs> Three points of damage as you oh. fall to the bottom of this pit, and uh, immediately appearing uh, in the clearing around you are a string of tiny, adorable-looking kobolds. Aww. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> they've got spears, they're dressed in rags and leaves. Think Ewoks, mm. right? That's mm -hmm. that's the kind of they've vibe of these things. They've got pointy sticks. They do have Aww. pointy, pointy sticks. <laughs> uh, Hello. <laughs> in what language, please? Eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you speak eyebrow to her. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. Sirrah, privy, good day. I love it. Okay, so you say hello in highbrow to uh, As far as you're concerned, they look at you and go, Houdini! Uh, I'm, I'm going to step forward to the edge of the pit and, um, yeah, really strongly I'm going to say, Back off to all of them. Oh, calm down. I'm uh, going to. Um, some holly is going to sprout on the end of the. Hey, the sweet. Shillelagh so you cast Shillelagh, and uh, can you give me an intimidate check, please? Yeah. Oh. I like that. How does she do this? Oh, you're going to pit. How does she do this? Uh, <laughs> you look down the pit. The pit has actually oh, just got the, the, the leaves are back. There. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, Arms me off that one. <laughs> so, uh, uh, right, so you say back off. They have. Uh, they've not charged in and attacked you, but they are... They're not impressed. They're not impressed. They are advancing towards you and... With a bush of fire. cast Minor Illusion to put the leaves back. <laughs> okay, the leaves have appeared over the top of the pit. Where is it? Iris? Yeah, it's fine. I can hear her. <laughs> the kobolds stop for a second. There might be ten of them that have appeared. Uh, one of them picks up a rock and throws it. <laughs> Take me a point of damage as a rock falls. <laughs> down the pit. They know where it is. Um, <laughs> but I'm... it goes through the illusion and they are perplexed. Okay. I'm going to... Can I do um... a magic trick? Sorry for interrupting. No, go on. Yeah, go. I've got, oh, hand I got sleight of hand I'm very used to gambling with. What mag yeah. Okay, great. What magic trick are you... Uh, I'm going to try and make some food just appear <laughs> in my hand <laughs> and then give it to one of them. What did you get on your sleight of hand? Uh, 11. Um, okay, so you approach one of them and bunch of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and a trail ration appears yeah. in your hand. Chicken drumstick. Yeah, it's like a uh, a little. Uh, I guess it's like a a, a twisted uh, knot of the trail rations that you can break yeah. off. Mm -hmm. And pa pa, uh, it assumes you are attacking, uh, <laughs> oh. as you just produce something from nowhere. Uh, and what's your armor class, please? Mm -hmm. Fifty. It misses you. <laughs> it comes with you. Okay. I'll do I mean, I'll knock him over. Uh, <laughs> Okay. If I can treat him as a mook, I'll just not. A diplomatic <laughs> incident ensues. Okay, yeah, you, you knock him down, and suddenly they've all, all the spears point at you. Oh, and then oh. I'll help him get back up. Okay. okay. Well, Diplomacy. Oh, you help him get back up. <laughs> okay. Roll me a persuasion check with disadvantage to, to oh. help this cabal. <laughs> 21. <laughs> with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's grotesque. Okay. I'm going to use my druid craft to make flowers blossom around the pair as um, <laughs> Freya helps the world up. And like just, just a little bit of sunlight is going to shine down on this moment. In a moment that will go down. <laughs> in a moment that will go down in the history of this tribe, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the moment Lady Freya helped up a cabal in a great <laughs> meeting of the different species. There's the, this is going to get drawn. Uh, Lady Freya reaches down and picks up uh, the uh, one of the kobolds who clasps your arm, which is a very Stalian thing to do, and you uh, pull them up. It looks at you. It's got, like I said, a long, uh, so cute. long stat-like mouth. It's like, yeah, they've got like crocodile heads and scales, but they are little people, basically. Yeah. And uh, it says something at you. 
What does it say? Uh, it's a cabal. Oh no, no idea. Thank uh, you. So it will speak. It will speak <laughs> of Stalin. Uh, yes, it spoke. Uh, it spoke draconic. Great. Uh, then I will say, um, in Stalin, what is it you have to say to the Lady Freya? Um, Lady of what? Um, the uh, Lady of Merrick. Who is Merrick? Merrick is a great kingdom south of the Wildlands. Mm, great king. Then you are rich. You will give us food. I'm sure the Lady Freya has food to give. I'm just giving it food. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> you will give us all the food you have, and we will escort you safely to the edge of our lands. Do you have any more food? Not much. <laughs> I'm no. getting bored and trying to help Iris <laughs> out of a pit. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> sure. Um, it's not hard. Uh, Iris, yeah. you are helped out of the um, pit. I'm going, to, I'm going to say to um, to you two and Browter and to you and Stalin, if you've got any food in your packs, um, Hand them over. I literally um, have nothing. That's <laughs> fine. Book and um, clothes are mine. And I'm going to use. You're Druidcraft. the only one with all stuff. Oh, cool. I'm going to use Druid Craft to um, go to one of the nearby trees, and I'm going to sprout a whole load of mushrooms up the side of the tree. Yeah. Okay. Which I can then crop. Okay, that's cool. Um, this is a fine use of druid craft. They'd be gross, you wouldn't want to live on them, but I guess you could in a pinch. <laughs> yeah, they're edible, they're that's, not great. They're, no, they're that's great. fine. Uh, they look at this and they are oh, surprised at this as a bunch of mushrooms shrimp up the side of the tree what? and they Damn. look at you. I'll eat one. How did you do this? With magic. Teach us. <laughs> I can't teach you. Why not? It takes a long time. We have time. <laughs> I don't. Just but if get you... them if they want to learn magic. Get them to come with us, mm. and they can be our little If you guard. would like to learn, <laughs> if you would like to learn, you can travel with us. But we will be on a long journey. We will take you away from your community. And it will be dangerous. I still and you'll have to up. swear allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what they're saying. I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. uh, in his uh, they turn and co oh, confer okay. in Draconic and then we will just take the food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Why is... Do this <laughs> more. Mm? Again. More mushrooms. More mushrooms? Iris, will you help me? Sure. Oh, cool. We'll, we'll do um, just just uh, the trees around. We'll do... Oh, in fact... Um, if any of the trees around here are nut bearing or fruit bearing, I will just put a little bit of energy in to ripen any fruits or nuts that are there. That's fine. Yeah. So basically, what you what I will, I'm fine with druid craft being used to ripen existing things, mm. and there are there are patches of mushrooms that you can bring into fruition. Mm -hmm. There is a spell called Goodberry, which specifically provides you food and stuff, but yes. that also does healing. Yeah, that's true. So I'm I'm, I'm okay. I was, I was thinking about druid this. Druid craft will let you open up a flower. I'm so okay with that. That's absolutely as fine for the party's benefit. Um, Yes, that's all right. Uh, chat quite likes this idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, all right, chat, uh, if you really like this, vote now. Uh, everyone who says yes, does the party get a cabal pet? Everyone who says no, the party doesn't. Well, this is a one minute poll, do it right mm -hmm. now. Only one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> only I need one. a retainer. No army for you. Uh, well, you can try. Uh, <laughs> What, what do I one pet, but it's the kobold leader. <laughs> 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 Your pet is an army of kobolds. <laughs> They're still useless. You know what? That's, that's <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, fine. Um, the kobold, um, one of them steps forward to you and says, um, I would like to learn. Then come with us. I will. What's your name? My name is Raspit. Raspit. Nice to meet you, Raspit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Raspit will join us. Excellent. What? <laughs> What's been going on? I, I must say goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> 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 the kobolds are impressed by the magic. They so will, am I. Um, <laughs> and Raspit would like to learn more, so he will travel on with us. Uh, uh, uh. Um, your spell is... Uh... <laughs> are they magical or innately magical? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I don't um, know. Ring still pulling this week. Oh, mm. <laughs> Onwards. 
Away from the hold. Uh, yeah. You start. You don't know how long it's going to last. It oh. may not last. <laughs> <laughs> then, then let's onwards. Um. Okay. The cabal say goodbye. Um, yeah. And yeah, they go back into the trees, and you're amazed at how efficiently they disappear. They just, and they suddenly are one with the forest once more. Like protesters. And you, in a all you can hear is the faint sound of bird song. <clears throat> uh, Raspit. Are there any traps ahead? Oh yes. <laughs> Can you show us where? Yes. Or could you rather show us where to avoid them? Mm. <laughs> Follow me. And Raspit uh, runs off. Uh, are you... <laughs> yeah, I'll run off. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Ah, <laughs> Leroy and Jenkins! Yes. Raspit charges forwards. And you guys uh, follow after Raspit as best you're able. Uh, he avoids all the traps that are there. Congratulations, you have managed to uh, find someone who will guide you through the trap head area. And you make your way until Raspit stops and he says, This is the edge. Edge of Kabul territory. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where do we go, Hiroshi? Well, the ring is pulling me this way. It's the right. northwest, sir. So let's go. Onwards. Quickly. All right. Uh, lead. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Well, oh. Can I understand you? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's he saying? He, he, okay. He'll speak Estonian. Do you speak Estonian? Uh, a little. A little bit. Yeah, okay. So you can kind of understand what this thing is saying. This is the strangest creature you've ever interacted with. You broke it. <laughs> yeah, just the... Yeah. Uh, take a point of damage as oh. it hits you with his little <laughs> stick spear. Damn it. Uh, Horatio, don't be rude. Sorry, I've just never seen one before. Uh, could you teach them a uh, more civilized language as well as? <laughs> yeah, I'd like. I want to see one speaking high Browter. That'd be fun. Well, why don't you teach Raspit some of your Browter magic? I can't be bothered with that. You two. Right, <laughs> this way. <laughs> more important things to do. Okay, you can. Your ring is. Uh, well, your, now your ring is uh, <laughs> shaking a little bit. As you, you can feel that you're getting closer, but also the spell is ending, and you can see there's a slight hill that drops down into the valley beyond it and the spell ends, but you know that what you're looking for is beyond. The spell has clearly ended, the ring has stopped shaking and glowing, and Horatio has paused for a moment at the foot of a small hill. Okay. Here. Thank you. <laughs> oh. That's all right. Oh, I'll look at offers. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I don't know what is on the other side of this hill, but I'm really hoping Body. that it is something like a tomb or a temple or something. So, why are we this, what? This is the whole reason why I'm here. Just so we can. I don't care why you're here. <laughs> we need to go to our boat, which is now ages away. Yeah, this might be relevant for us. Do you remember the thing that the yeah, and we had to. Yes. I can guarantee whatever this is that I, well, I know what it is. If we find this, I will help you on your way if you help me get it. Do you promise this? It depends. Yes. It depends Tell us what the yes, promise. promise. Things. No. She promised. She's already <laughs> promised. She's helping you. <laughs> yes. You're helping. Thank you, friend. Right. We are no searching. Problem. We are good friends. We are very good friends. <laughs> we are searching for the diadem <laughs> of Zalba. The diadem of Zalba? Mm. History check, Freya. As the only person you might have heard. <laughs> oh, well. 100% no. Yeah. <laughs> it actually, it actually, sleep it actually rings a bell. Like, the Adam Zabi, you're like, yeah. Yeah, that's one of... Well, there is some... I guess I did a Adam Zabi. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, you, the Adam Zabi, you get the impression that you really should know what this is. That's yeah. what you know about it. Where is... What? <laughs> I where, know where, Zalba. Where, where you know Zalba. Goddess of magic and wisdom. Oh, the magic stuff. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of five oh, Browter God. gods. Yes, one of the five. There are... You speak high Browter. <laughs> what is a Browter diadem doing in the Wildlands? Exactly. Now, no. this is what That's I have been That's not an answer! I'm going to answer! Look, I have been researching this for a very long time. This is going to get me prestige. This is going to get me everything that I've ever dreamed of. Is this of. why the Corinthian research party came up here? This is exactly. They were coming up here on an expedition to try and find this. Now, I was the lead scientist aboard it. It was all my research. But then... What's a scientist? 
Um, basically a researcher. I study. I study in books and history files. Unfortunately, a lot of them have been really bastardised and completely rewritten by our council because there's certain aspects so of So you're a librarian? Story. Yes! <laughs> in other words, you understand librarian, we're not scientists. That's very interesting. We have libraries. We have libraries. Do you? Mm-hmm. You, do, you do look little sword. <laughs> anyway, so I use these books to look back in history, and I found out that the Diadem of Zalba is probably located up here. Now, this thing, if the wearer possesses it and puts it on, you instantly gain the wisdom of the goddess. Shit, yes. That's what I thought. So I managed to get together a team, Brittany and the other cow, they were funding it. When they found out what we were looking for was close, they threw me in prison and been putting spells on me to try and locate it. But there was one spell that I had that they didn't, which was the location spell that I just used. They couldn't master it. I know it. So it should be over this hill. Right. If you help me get it, I will use its power to help you on your way. But I need to bring it back because this is how I become a castle. I'm confused. Well, You're going to turn into a castle. Like Mina Castle. It's a noble title. Oh, right. Mm. Um, You're not looking very impressed by this. This is like, wow. <laughs> um, I can't yes. see you. You are in front of me. <laughs> 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 it's it's a too crazy. That is a great way to cover it. <laughs> um, You're planning to put it on the chicken. Yeah. I mean, if you let us. Uh, <laughs> um, maybe. There is a boom, boom, boom. All right. And that's a bad noise. Hiding. <laughs> for immediately retreats into the tree line and is suddenly just invisible, like gone. Uh. And you see that there are a line of ogres that have appeared on top of the hill. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> and uh, they are looking down. And one of them says in Istanian, uh, one of them says, Looks like we have some interlopers here. Holy oh, shit! And we're going to <laughs> leave it there and take a quick break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to be back in a few minutes. Uh, party, I suggest you construct a plan. Uh, I mean, although last time Beat the plan cobble. was charging. <laughs> Beat them the cobble! No! <laughs> no! Uh, vote now for feeding the cobble to the ogres. No! <laughs> <laughs> we all know what the outcome will be. Oh, dear. But brought to you by the people who named a boat, fuck you, Palamedes. <laughs> But chat says the um, irony is that's the only sentence he knows. <laughs> <laughs> the one time it's applicable. <laughs> He's just on guard duty. Interlopers, that's glorious. <laughs> oh. oh, this is most exciting. So I'm I'm envisaging that with um, Raspit, there's mm. some kind of competition between the the four recurring or regular characters. Try and say, you should be a druid, you should be a sorcerer, you should be a rogue, you should be a paladin. That's fun. I can't speak to you, but you should be <laughs> Well, you, my can, you can teach him skills. <laughs> I mean, if he learns to play Browfit in order to do magic, then I'll be able to speak to him. This is so exciting. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Sounds of revelation. Yes. The eye of Guinevere is blinking at me. Yes. It's literally on my head. The diadem gives you wisdom. Yes. The ogres are unusually bright. Yes. Yeah. That's what must be nearby. Yes, here. catch up, Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, we're all there. I mean, Raspit might not be, but that's because you missed the first part of the story. <laughs> Raspit's going to need a lot of catching up. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Just making you choke on your jalapeno. <laughs> no one says you should be a warrior, apparently. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, see, this is tricky now. No, it's not. I don't see it. I don't think it's that tricky. I was incredibly good at dealing with ogres before. Hmm. I dealt with like three of the five. Of no, no, that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the diadem of Salva. I don't think it'll be easy. What are you worried about the diadem of Zalra about? Well, as far as I see, we have three different parties who are interested in this. Well, we are the main party. In yes, but within our party, <laughs> there are two distinct interests. Oh, um, no, if it's not a helm, if it's not, if it's, if it's Browter, not a Starlian, I'm not interested in it. Hmm. Okay. Maybe there was I assume. Starlian. I mean, I'd love to have someone I could ask about that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. What did I do? Twice. Maybe, maybe mm. like, we can convince the ogres to give us some salted fish. <sighs> maybe... Mario has no idea what this is all about. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there wasn't an Estalian word for diadem, so they just called it a helm. Mm. It's one on the head. You want civilised look? <laughs> yeah, wearing things on your head. Ah! <laughs> Aren't diadems. <laughs> hey buddy, got too many class levels? I can help you with that. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Do you reckon it's just like a flat plus ten? To no, Freya, then? you will have to promise not to fall in love with this one. <laughs> with him. Raspids, your Raspids. new Tyndall. <laughs> Tyndall Mark <laughs> Two. You can yeah. <laughs> My love for Tyndall is true. Interspecies. Yeah. yeah, although Tyndall, like, <clears throat> may be dead in the river. No, no uh, he, don't he, speak so. He things. can't die off stage. You have to wait until we get there and then he dies. <laughs> no. Find him on a riverbank. Right, uh, but the flood was a week ago. And he's like, I was waiting. <laughs> I knew you'd come. <laughs> I've survived eating otters and crocodiles. But now I will die. Now you are here. <laughs> but first a song. Um, Intro <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, are we going to be coming up with a plan? I'm coming up with plans. My Did plan I... is to go with the 50 ogres that aren't going to try and break our legs. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you want an army? Yeah. Maybe we can convince the ogres to come with us. Go and mm-hmm. smash up the, Car- the Carithian boat. Yeah. Ooh. Last week, did I learn some sort of blink? And I didn't write it down. I think I learned oh! some sort of blink when I was on my solo. Yeah! Thing, like shadow step or something. Yes, you did. The swords did a thing for you. you. Yeah, did you like a defensive thing, didn't it? No, it was like you did a weird sort of round to find it. You did, you did a sort of weird spinny thing and you transported somewhere. I I remember Josh saying you've learned this, maybe. Well, you can ask him when he comes back. Um, I like the idea of recruiting the Ogre Army, though, rather than fighting the Ogre Army. This seems like a much better plan. Mm. I I was joking, but apparently Tyndall really could still be just sitting on a a (laughs) riverbank waiting for Freya to turn up. (laughs) Well, we knew he was in a boat. If he's got water and his wounds aren't lethal, but are preventing him from getting to any food, he could still be alive. <laughs> we know he's on the boat. The water elemental. He is sucking on mosses the... beside the... He was on the boat. Going east. Tyndall now rules the Ogus. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching him to dance. <laughs> Oh, Practice dancing! That's what it is, oh my god! And he's been sending them out to try and find his love! He, they're asking everyone's name to see if they can find Freya! Oh my god! It all makes sense as it all hangs together. That's the plan. Oh, no, the Ogre Cabaret! <laughs> Our plan is to convince Josh that this is better than whatever story he's had. It's not hard. Ah, Refresh it! Grand Demon! How hard to kill a Ogre? Are they pretty tough? They're, they're, really really tough. Tough. they're not regenerative, are they? No. That's trolls. trolls. Yeah. Trolls are regenerative, but ogres it's fine. are fine, we've got fire to deal with regenerative stuff. Yeah. And there's 50 of the buggers. Uh-huh. Wait, there were 50 of them. I'm I saying, like, this, is, this is a we good army. Mm-hmm. If you could convince them to come and join you. And then we're on the roll. There was a five in there somewhere. Then, you know, we could bring the diadem back for 
uh, Horatio Hello. on the head <laughs> yes, of an ogre that is then going to crush your enemies mm. in their wake. We could take it all the way to Corinth. You could bring your science project to Corinth in a uh, not invasion. Mm. I'm sure that the city full of mages would be fine with that. Yeah. First <laughs> stop is crap. Given well, that a not very thing. good mage right here can deal with like three of them in not very long. No, of mm. course, of course, but uh, I don't know. We could present them. Yes, this yeah. is the thing. It would be part of the Benilli Prize, so yes. they, yes. you know, we'd be Ooh. able to get right into the fifty super smart ogres. The Benilli would be mine. Yeah, I can look I'm down. more after. I'm down to diplomacy. Let's go. Got my. Plus three. Might need some man. guidance. <laughs> Have some fucking guidance. Yeah, my guidance to you all, all the time, is don't fuck it up. I can't speak a star anymore. Mm, that's uh, I might have to take uh, a point on this then. Although, the di- if it is the diagram of Zalba, maybe. if it's Browter, <clears throat> Josh, we have figured out what's going on. Browter. Have you? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm glad. Oh, I have a question. Oh yeah, before it's, before it's been we... going on since the first time you met the ogres. Actually, <laughs> really, that long? Oh, <laughs> that's up. No, our theory is better. Yes, All right. it's better. <laughs> Doesn't fit the facts, but it's better. Tyndall was rescued by the ogres okay. and is now their ruler. The way they've been shouting practice is dance practice, <laughs> and he's been sending them out to ask people's names so to find Freya. That is a Wonderful theory. Very uh, neat. It's very very neat. <laughs> very neat, Watson. Very, very clever. Except that we're only halfway through the book. It can't possibly be correct. <laughs> yes. Did I learn a move last week? Did I learn some sort of shadow step for you? No. So the shadow okay. step was something the sword did to you, uh, or for you. Yeah. Um, possibly, yes, I think you could learn. You have Is to talk something to, the, to be written have to talk on to the blade. Sheet, no, the sword oh. has had you practicing your defense. Yeah. Um, you have not yet mastered this move. Um, yeah. But the sword is uh, going to insist that you attempt it. Uh, right. So, is, the, is this what chat is currently talking about? How long Tinder would realistically survive? Yes. Yeah, we were saying. Oh, Tinder was on the boat. It's, he's <laughs> definitely alive. He was on a boat. He's definitely. He, he, he definitely he's was alive. alive a few days ago. That is he's true. Wait, um, he was a few on. Days ago. So you take it a onto boat. a boat. He was on a boat. But it wasn't the pirate boat of York's friends that we met. And it wasn't a Corinthian boat because that had got crushed by the water. So it's a, an, a boat of unknown Ooh. origin. A boat yeah, of unknown origin. origin, that is correct. Okay, that's so um, hi, you might be heading to Crassos. You might be you might be just fine. Oh god, Sir Darius. Yeah, it's a problem for future us. That's, who cares about Sir Darius? Right. Well Sir Darius um, might have come beaten up Tyndall. And no, his job was to protect him. <laughs> and yeah. we're back. Uh, oh, we're back. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. You, you can do um, Pepsi pouring and things like that. And then we're. I will. You can't. That's stop. fine. I'll have some more in a second as well. Uh, so yes, the uh, the one of the ogres shouted down at you guys as the sun. Yeah, and yeah. used the word interlopers. Yeah. Is there fifty ogres? Who said fifty ogres? <laughs> fifty somewhere. I haven't said that. That was. Uh, I haven't said fifty yet. Oh, good. Um, <coughs> good that's, that's a good number. Uh, yeah, and so the sun is streaming from behind the ogres, and they are backlit. There is a line of about eight of them. So in fact, there are a line of eight of them standing on top of the hill, looking down at you. Thirty to oh, fifty. Well. They Thirty to up. fifty. <laughs> there are wild yeah. ogres. Can you pass the Pepsi? Yeah. And uh, there is uh, they. The central ogre has said, "Oh, looks like we have some interlopers here." Hello. Greetings. <laughs> and he points at one of the ogres standing next to him. Freya has disappeared into the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, Raspit is frozen in place. And oh, somebody uh, give Raspit a hug. And, oh. uh, he points at uh, one of the ogres next to him and says, "Chicken you. goes." <laughs> what is an interloper? And the ogre, I'll take insight checks from anybody oh my God, this who is wants strange. to. Oh, no, no idea. No idea, that's fine. It's right. really hard to read over emotions. Ten, I'm just not quite sure. Nine. That's fine. Okay, you're, you're not sure exactly what the interplay is here. That's more um, syllables than I usually use. <laughs> and uh, the ogre turns and says, oh, Sneak. The uh, <laughs> the lead ogre shakes his head and says, 
my friend, you need more practice, and claps him on the shoulder and says, go and come back when you know. Yes, chief. And turns and the ogre bounds oh, off. I'm going to go and intercept him. So <laughs> well, Iris, the 17 year old girl who weighs 90 pounds dripping wet, runs <laughs> to intercept the ogre who is loping down the hill. Boom, 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 boom. And I shout after him An interloper is a wise friend who can help you. <laughs> You are a genius. <laughs> okay, I've got a bad feeling. Neve looks at Iris <laughs> and like, just, just like swells with pride. I've got a funny feeling that that lead ogre is going to counter this. <laughs> Take me a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> well, let's re-roll that too. Mm. Yeah. Can you beat an eight? Uh, it's come out 20. You can't beat an eight. <laughs> not, not that. No, that's fine. Um, oh, the ogre stops. Turns around and says, Chief, <laughs> an interloper is wise friend. And the chief looks down and says, These people are scallywags. <laughs> oh, God. Scoundrels, sneaks, and liars. <laughs> well, these interlopers are wise friends who can help you. Hmm. <laughs> we can be both. That remains to be seen, but I admit the possibility, and I'm willing to engage in discussions. <laughs> you, Crimp, yes, Chief. Go practice, yes, Chief. <laughs> Crimp runs off. This is brilliant. Now, wise friends, <laughs> what wisdoms have you brought to trade? Oh, we can you add... can see as he steps down. He is wearing a uh, a small silver diadem. Yeah. We can <laughs> add to your lexicon. I hold up his uh, this notebook that has been mended. We speak high browter, browter, and a stallion. And, and we got books, loads of books. And, uh, um... You do have a bunch of wizard books. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we were about to be okay. Um... <laughs> Okay, I will trade you these hmm. magician's books for that Hang little on. tin trinket on your head. <laughs> Do you say this? Yes. <laughs> oh, Horatio. <laughs> the ogre pauses for a second and then belly laughs. This will not be traded, but... <laughs> You have entertained me. Laugh, ogres. And the ogres <laughs> around go, ha, 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 ha. You are welcome to my camp. Please, come up. Arise, arise. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you may ascend the hillock. Uh, I'll, I'll come out. Ascend the, the hillock. Ascend. <laughs> That's fine. Rasp it still. Come rasp it. It's safe. Somebody pick it up. Uh, sure no. <laughs> okay. And have uh, you seen these ogres around? They must be near your territories. Oh yes. That's largely what the traps for. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be pretty large traps. Mm. They are. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and so you guys come up the hill. Uh, you see some of the ogres hit each other. Not in a, I'm attacking you, just kind of good-natured thumps. Mm -hmm. They're communicating. That's how they communicate. They're all holding clubs of some description. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are welcomed. As you, it's quite hard to see. Like I said, the sun is directly behind the ogres, but you make your way up the hill, and you reach the top. At the top of the hill, you are ringed by ogres, and you can see down into the valley on the other side, where there are between 30 yeah, and 50, 50 ogres. <laughs> Uh, there is a large, just by nature of the size, settlement. Uh, a series of tents have been erected. Are you serious? I am really serious. And uh, yeah, there are. This this looks like an ogre village. Oh my god! Now you can see why I really want this diadem. <laughs> this never happens. Oh, it does when you got a diadem of wisdom. No, no chaps. They are not feral. <laughs> Pointedly not. Mm. This is this is unbelievable. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
This is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it is merely the beginning. You must... I have great plans. Come, come. I am Balthazar. Hello, Balthazar. What are your names? A name is the truest way to make a friend, don't you think? He claps you on the shoulder. Take a point of damage. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I am Neve of the Wells and not as strong as you think. Again, please. Neve of the Wells. Neve of the Wells. Please, would these be the magical well points that ring the land? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. I will talk to you more on this. <gasps> Neve of the Wells, and you are. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Loquacious. I don't, I don't speak. Um, he asks your name. Ah, Captain Lucille. Ah. Of Merrick. Captain Lucille. You say in Brather, I assume. Hi, Is that. Mm. Hi, Brather. I, bra I mean, he's speaking Latin. Latin. He's speaking Latin. Ah! Oh. Then well met, Miss Captain Lucille of Merrick, he replies in high brow tone. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> Where oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you look like you're about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> and uh your name, sir? In or would highest. you prefer I address you in this tongue? He says in mm. high brow tone. <laughs> I'd prefer that. <laughs> Very well. I am Horatio. Greetings, Horatio. Hello. Hello, and Ooh. welcome. And you, young miss, Ooh, please do nice. not be frightened by our size. We cannot help being large and scary. <laughs> laugh! <laughs> and the <laughs> is all laugh. Uh, Iris. Iris. And this is Raspit. We have met you before, Iris. Not in person. <laughs> Raspit, well, my goodness me, what a diminutive fellow you are. Sorry, where have you met me before? Um, one of, one of our ogres has met you before. I guess. Yes, he recounted your tale in great detail. I find that hard to believe. Well, I believe some of your ogres actually saved me a long time ago. Did they indeed? Uh, I was the prisoner of some orcs. Oh. Well, this is your story that you must recount yourself. I am afraid the ogres that saved you, if indeed they are part of my village, have not returned. Oh, oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, ogres are sturdy and durable things. Please, come down, come down. And this chicken... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the chicken is, uh, is Yorg. Ah, uh, hello, Yorg. Uh, pet or food for later? Neither. Um, a companion who has been transformed by magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> interesting indeed. One moment. He leans in, <laughs> touches the diadem on his head, and says, Ah oh, yes, I can see. There's a, a polymorph spell cast very recently. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> seeing as you seem to know things, no. could you do you know anything about these? And I'll show him the two D four black D fours we got from the uh, temple of the something of. Mm. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that would happen. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Uh, as you're walking down the hill towards the village, you're like. What about these? Yeah. And uh, he immediately steps back and said, Silence! S silence! Si no! They are friends and under my protection. I must insist that you put those away, please. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> we will talk later. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> please, friends, come down. Uh, would you like something to eat? Um, yes. yes. Uh, uh, is uh, we could serve you a respite? No. All right then. We don't happen talk. to have any salt fish, do you? I'm afraid. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> of our supplies of salted fish are substantial. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Please, come in, 
comment. <laughs> 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 this guy's great. He's got all the stuff behind. We live here a river. It made sense. And I have uh, educated my people as to the best mechanisms to store things. <laughs> have you educated them or have you died them? <laughs> Friend, I advise you to think of us as one and the same. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, no. j- j- please sit, sit. Uh, this is a really surreal experience. You are about half the size of most of the people in this town, and you are object of curiosity, and you can see ogres that are, the ground is shaking quite regularly as ogres doom, 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 thunder past you. Uh, you are knocked and bumped several times, none of it maliciously. They're not bullies thumping mm. you, they're just big and not yeah. sure where their ends are. And yeah, you are aware that everything here is built for people who are eight feet tall. Mm. You know, 10 feet tall sometimes. Mm. Uh, this is amazing. And yeah, you feel dwarfed by these huge creatures that are walking around. Where did you find the diadem? Ah. Yes, I'm uh, interested in that. Is that, is, is that your, your reason for travelling so far? Yes. Mainly mine. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it, it is not a subject that I am unwilling to discuss, but it is not one that I think uh, merits initial conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, come, let us, let us uh, sit and eat and drink. I'm fascinated and would like to hear more. You've gathered uh, about 20 ogres that are interested in following along. One of them reaches down and uh, just starts gently touching your hair. Um, <laughs> I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in high browser? <laughs> no, it's in a stallion. He, he likes your hair. Well, that's uh, cool. uh, Crunch is trying to communicate with you. Unfortunately... If you would do him the honour of speaking so he may learn and improve his stallion. I don't speak a stallion. Alas, and indeed alack. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I speak a Stalian. Can I speak a Stalian? I can't remember. Yeah, you, you, you've, you've studied a Stalian, yeah. So you, uh, you've broken. Yeah, you speak broken oh, Stalian. I could teach you all the obscenities. <laughs> yes. With all the swear words. I would be most grateful for any assistance that you could render. Teaching so many. languages to ogres is an arduous task. Uh, <laughs> I'm willing to take that arduous task. I past. might be able to help with that. I, I summon a uh, minor illusion of a cow. Cow. <laughs> Reaches out to try and pick up the cow. It's just like the facsimile knight you created. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Marvellous, marvellous. You, you are well met indeed, friends. Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps interlopers should mean wise friends. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, uh, and I have not forgotten you, my lady, he says in high brow mm. I shall endeavour to be more inclusive with my speech. Uh, ah, you. here we are, the Great Hall. It's an enormous tent. It's made of several cowskins that have been stitched together. Uh, well, I say cow skin, several like, How animal many skins. cows must oh, have died. An awful lot, yeah. <laughs> Lots of skins have been stitched wow. together to make this thing. But it looks sturdy and really well made. This does not look like typical ogre craftsmanship. Yeah, there's no human faces looking down on it on it either. Horatio. <laughs> yeah? Do you have in your book of spells anything for speaking languages? I do. I have tongues, but it is a level three and I would have to burn it. But let's do it because it's Britley's book. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that bitch. <laughs> well, t- tell me, what is this book of which you speak? Ah, these are... I have a bunch as well. These, there's, there's a <laughs> load of them. Oh, 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 oh. You have travelled far with such a library. Indeed. This is how magic works. Interesting. Mm. Some magic. Yes, I have knowledge of some magic myself, but... Mm have been unable to truly understand it. I would be most appreciative of any assistance you could render in this regard. But first, food! Mm. They bring in 
Uh, they decide since what you've asked for is salted fish. They that's what they're serving. <laughs> you. Right. Wow. Uh, I hope you guys like salted fish because <laughs> that's what they're giving you. Great. They don't have loads, but what they have is what they've brought out to give you. Lovely. That's fine. <laughs> I don't like Can salted fish. Can Freya just pick up one of them and slap Iris with it? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make Hulk turn up. <laughs> um, you can slap Iris with it. It won't work unless Iris is willing Pog to appear, but yeah, you slap Iris. Iris, you've been slapped with salted fish. <laughs> is this a browser custom? <laughs> yes. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I pick up some sort of fish <laughs> and with all my might. No, you're not brown to it doesn't help, it's an insult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please make me a persuasion check. Persuasion? Yeah, persuasion check. 20. Oh, it would be rude of us not to engage <laughs> in the customs of our friends. Uh -oh. uh, the ogres start laying about you guys and each other with the salted fish. Tell us, what is the origin of this custom? What? Need you are hit. <laughs> uh, 12 points of damage. <laughs> Salty damage. In fact, can everybody take me 12 points of damage oh. as uh, these ogres? Um, oh. This is a, I will just tell you now, this is a truly dangerous uh, situation. These guys could easily kill you without meaning to. Mm, gently. <laughs> gently. <laughs> it is a friendly <laughs> gesture. Yes, friendly. <laughs> uh, indeed, we would not wish to see any harm come to you. Uh, you, you perform magic, you say. You need a yeah. concentration check to see you, if you're... You need a concentration oh, check. Oh, God, yeah. Could you be whapped about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the fish, by the way, is just like yeah, fine. No, guts yeah. all over the floor now. I mean, these fish, have, the fish that the ogres have used have disintegrated. There is now substantially less salted fish around. Mm. Well, that solves one problem. Hog. <laughs> Good question. Fine. <laughs> 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 Um, Jorg is currently pecking at the fish on the floor. <laughs> How do we? I'm going to whisper to whisper to um, Captain Lucille in in her ear. I don't know if the thing in that diadem would like me. Mm. Well picked up. On. <laughs> uh, although chat says pog pog pog. <laughs> well, so friends, where where are you from originally? Iris and I are from Hollyhock. Hollyhock is um mm, rubs the diadem. Uh, a small town in uh uh well I suppose now it's uh Metria. Yes. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Good. And, and uh, you, my my uh, learned companion, mm -hmm. where are you from originally? Why don't you tell me? Where, hmm. where, you, where I think you're from? Well, you have the lines of the uh, committee of the so. Metria? It's the name of the whole kingdom, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. No, no, Metria is the name Constant. of the. Uh, oh, no, Metria. Is, oh, no, uh, Metria is. Uh, he's wrong. Yeah, Metria is Delta. Yeah. All right. So, um, Galatea. Galatea. Mm. 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 Knowledge is not infallible. You're just too polite to claim. That's fine. And. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> wrong. Uh, no, you have a look of a collision about to I would say. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I suppose. You are, you are correct. Damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, what. Did you, how did you know this? I have my wings and a magical headband and a voice in my head. I bloody knew it. This magical very voice. Catching. Mm. Yeah, oh, very catching. This magical voice. Yes. She t they tell you. She, I'm going to say she, 
Yeah, she tells me things. Sometimes too many things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like now, for instance. <laughs> uh, and uh, you, my lady, uh, where are you from? Uh, no. No, no. And uh, no more by your belly. I've gathered these things. One thing you might be able to help me with, I've often wondered, the black standing stones dotted around the country, where did they come from? Uh, I, I could ask. I would be intrigued. <coughs> so would I. <laughs> They're interesting. They were constructed. Right. Are you a sorcerer? And he reaches <laughs> for a club. <laughs> <laughs> What's a sorcerer? <clears throat> you have a connection to stones. What, like a geologist? Uh, you are you are a geologist. Is that is that your interest in stones? Mm. A persuasion check, please. <laughs> Not deception. Uh, I'll take yeah, deception's fine. Oh, there's persuasion's yeah. better. Though. Yeah, decep- yeah. deception is better. Um, 15. 15 total. Yes. Wait, um, I'm going to give you an extra thing and I'll roll play it in a second. Add, add a plus, add a d4. 16. Okay. 16 is what you need. Nice. Um, um, it has been my mission to cleanse the wells, and as we've been travelling, we've noticed that many of the standing stones align with the holy wells. Yes, well, that makes sense. So, That's where they were Iris erected. has become curious about them. Huh, I see. Yes, the, the, the stones are, they, they were forged to keep one of the great powers entombed. Oh, I see. Many, many moons ago, by the first salva. Oh, by what? Horatio <laughs> <laughs> falls off his <laughs> 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 The first. That's right. Now, huh? I think we should talk about uh, uh, an equivalent, <laughs> equivalent exchange. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I have information I'm not unwilling to impart. And uh, you mentioned something about helping to educate my ogres. Yeah. This is my primary concern. The problem that I have is ogres have always been seen, and not for no reason, as a stupid, ineducable populace. Perish the thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are more charitable than most. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they are not stupid. Are you stupid? Men. And the others go, Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, Nick. <laughs> we've got a lot of. You know what now. you need? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, Nick, learn ten new words and then return. <laughs> Uh, and so, yeah, Grimmick goes off. <laughs> Gone for months. <laughs> well, it was very long lived. <laughs> Down there. I. I will not allow my people to continue languishing in such servitude on the edges of civilization. Deny forever the learnings and advancements that go on across the continent. Here, here. Now I am aware. <laughs> That there is a, a great world out there, I'm determined. The first step is to teach my elders the stallion. And when they can communicate, then they can trade and we can learn. And the second step might be to establish diplomatic ties with Merrick. We will be interested in establishing <laughs> diplomatic ties with any neighbouring kingdom. You will not find I'm us wanting to travel. Well, should we refer to you as King Balthazar then? I like the title. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't given myself one. I have been a chief, but if I am to be possessed of lands and respected in my dealings, I suppose King is an acceptable uh, moniker. Moniker, thank you. <laughs> I could probably provide those for you. What would you provide? I could provide you with land and. A place to establish yourself and 
possibly even settle if you were to just... Well, I've got a proposition for you. I'm all beers. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> That's very good, very good. What if you, could I persuade you to come with me back to my homeland? Well, I, I did room in my homeland for 50 ogres, but 76. I'm sure we could find it. <laughs> and your people would accept us? And then, surely, you might have to present yourself before a um, committee, so to speak. Uh, I'm not certain that I hate this idea. What do we get in exchange? Wisdom. All I the have... wisdom we could provide for Horace your other. He's an educated populist. Though I would imagine marching an army of ogres through the lands would prove tricky with the limited language you have so far. It does oh, seem no, to me that the best place for you is here. I happen to <laughs> agree. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no! I think this is a, a perfect ground to expand. Mm. I suspect that our empire will take several generations to forge. What if you came on a diplomatic mission just yourself? The, there is only one small blight. He looks at Rasput. No. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a whole fish in his mouth. Look at your. No, the 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 uh, grey eye orcs. Ah, yeah, we have we have encountered them in the past. That have a, a blight upon them. A mm. plague. The oh. blessings of Garlon. That's correct. Are your ogres immune to it? Certainly not. So the only thing preventing you from staying here would be if you had to move. Now, one of the things we are trying to do is trying to rid the land of this blight. Well, then you must be assisted. Tell me, what can I render you? Martial forces. You require martial assistance? Yes. And what would this do? How would we... you deploy these troops? Uh, not as an army, but we frequently find ourselves in combat. Hmm. A bodyguard, you might say. A bodyguard or a small retainer would be greatly useful. Well, perhaps... And would be used uh, to help us <coughs> with the land. And we can, of course, course teach them as we go. This seems a very reasonable <laughs> mission. I might be willing to send some of my... Uh, men more in need of assistance. <laughs> you could train them, and in exchange, they would make themselves useful to you. Is it possible? Uh, yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many were you thinking? Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> she says My with a straight face. That's half the problem. <laughs> <laughs> My lady, can we feed twenty ogres? Ogres can feed ogres. <laughs> what a disturbing thought. <laughs> hmm. Garlon is a significant threat. Twenty ogres is a lot of ogres. I, I tell you what. I will not dispatch one third of my population. But I accept that the threat of Garlon is severe. When you are determined to make a move, being more educated and already purposed in that direction, call upon King Balthazar and I will render you all the assistance I can muster when you go to take the fight to Garlon. That seems reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you okay. can offer me a sufficient incentive to remove myself and my population from this green and pleasant land. Sunnier climate. Can we have a map? Uh, <laughs> the map of the wildlands yeah, yeah. or the world map? Uh, wild, wildlands. Okay, so you Slash can, Merrick. Uh, the map of the wildlands you can have, it is around. For now, the world map looks like this. Um, uh, it was drawn for us by Lofi, who is a 
artist who streams on Mondays. Uh, but the map of the wildlands is somewhere, somewhere really safe. Um, <laughs> one moment while I try and find the map of the wildlands. But yes, in theory, you can have it. Is it not there? Right. Uh, yes, that is right. Don't worry, I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Balthazar. There we go. All right. So, where, roughly where are we? We sort of here. here um, <coughs> uh, you are. So, we've been coming along underneath the grey eyes. We're north of the other way now. You are. North. Yeah. You went past oh, this area, uh, so you are somewhere around here, yeah. uh, in this wooded area here. We haven't yet made it to um, Elaine's Hollow, which no. is we thought somewhere, it was somewhere here. here. So, um, hmm. you pull out a map and start pouring over it. What a valuable resort. Uh, do you mind if I copy it? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, Balthazar we don't know how accurate this stares is. and looks at the map, holding the diadem, and just looks at it for about a minute. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. I will replicate it later. Do you know if it's accurate? Ooh, um, I mean, we know, for instance, the Lake of Tears is not to scale. I assume it is drawn and, for... Mm. Uh, uh, what's the thing word? Um, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> it is, it, it, well, it's not exactly from scale, but even then, as a reference guide, it is a valuable tool. Mm. Uh, is, uh, uh, yes, thank you, he says. I can tell you where we are roughly, and he confirms that you are roughly where he thought you were. If you'd like to put it on the map, there are, you can do that. In Here be others. Yeah. Add it later. Um, there. Yeah, there. Sweet. Is there any other assistance I can render you? Uh, do you have any uh, rope? <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can furnish you with some rope. Uh, assorted <sighs> tools for the uh, acrobat. Assorted, says one of the ogres. There, you are, <laughs> there, there are like 30 ogres who are listening in well, really he said eagerly. It in That's fine. They're, they just, they're trying to absorb as much stuff as they can because ogres don't get an opportunity to interact with mm. the outside world. Because everyone goes, oh, it's ogres and runs away. Our chicken friend <coughs> was badly injured. Mm. Looks fine. <laughs> when he stops being a chicken, he yes. has severe wounds. I am sorry. We have some things that we can use to heal him, but if you have anything here, then that would be much appreciated. Mm. Or any skills yourself in healing? I myself have no skills in healing. I can set bones, split arms, but uh, chickens are beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, come, it is now time. Uh, we have fed you and we have uh, engaged in conversation, which I have been grateful for. Uh, will you now spend the evening and uh, embark on some of these lessons you spoke of with my ogre friends? Mm, of course. Good. He claps his hands and the sound is deafening. Mm. And he says, uh, gather up, we will have lessons. We have new teachers here. And some of the ogres go, <laughs> uh, what are you doing to try and teach these ogres? What are you attempting to teach so, them? Uh, I will be casting minor illusions yep. of different things and trying to teach them new vocabulary. New vocab, that's cool. Very nice. I like that, I like that a lot. That's a really cool use. Uh, Horatio? Probably about the same. Okay. He's also mm -hmm. covetously looking at this diadem. That's fine, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Freya? This is a flip. <laughs> How can be doing this? While just having a look around the camp, I'll be, it'll be a very energetic lesson. Okay. And I'll be on the lookout for anything shiny. Yeah, you can do directions with the router. Oh, router yes. directions. Up. Left. Yeah, okay, so you can be Behind. Flip. Okay, so, uh, um, Neve, what are you doing? Um, I will Pick be... pocket. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, I will be using Druidcraft to uh, do nature words, which is a really useful thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you can also say, look, poisonous and not... Yes, yeah, yeah. So, well, 
Uh, sweet. So <laughs> Neve is walking around through some of the woods, and there's a troop of ogres mm -hmm. following you, and you're showing them things I'd that they like can. I'd like to speak to the ogre chief before we finish. But yes. that's fine. Yeah, you, you absolutely can. There's time for this. Same. Uh, <laughs> this is a cow. The cow goes <laughs> moo. Look at the, the cow. cow. <laughs> yeah. uh, so while uh, Iris recreates spot the dog uh, <laughs> with the ogres, the ogres love your minor illusion. They think it's just the best thing. They keep putting their fingers to it. <laughs> One of them comes up to you and says, Iris! Oh. Practice! Krish! Krish! I, I'm, I'm thinking of a knight. And he tells the other, he speaks in ogre to the other ogres <laughs> and Balthazar says, a stallion! And hits him over the head. <laughs> Uh, night, no night. <laughs> <laughs> what no night? Illusion. I <laughs> Illusion. Illu <laughs> Illusion. 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 <laughs> Cow. Illusion. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Um. Yeah, Cow them to fight mages. This can only end badly. <laughs> Cow is illusion. Mm. Oh, yeah. So they're they're learning. You're you're the cow. The <laughs> cow is an an illusion. Prepositions are hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the cow an is illusion. Cow, yes. <laughs> the ogres are having fun. Uh, so Jacob is doing this show with them. Neve is leading them through the woods. Uh, the Lady Freya is flipping off the side of tents, and there's a every now and again a troop of ogres goes. <laughs> what are you looking for in particular? Um, You've gone all throughout the camp. So I am looking to replenish my thieves tools with basic stuff that I might find, and I'm having a look out for anything interesting. To be honest. Okay, Anything cool. Anything that isn't just a tent. Investigation check. <laughs> Chat says Iris has just killed hundreds of adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching ogres what illusions are. <laughs> eight. And eight. Um, there's mostly tents. What you yeah. notice is, so your thieves' tools, you can't find anything to uh, replace your thieves' tools here. Uh, but you know you have some back on the boat, which is now yeah, some way somewhere. away. Uh, the sun is beginning to set. And... When did we have to be back by? Sunset or sunrise? Sunrise. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> the sun is beginning to set. And uh, you have been all around the camp. It is incredibly poorly guarded. There's no walls. There's no... Uh, you know, there's, there are There is a patrol of ogres that is walking around. Uh, but there's no... I mean... What, what they're going to do? It's like 60 ogres. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the largest gathering of ogres ever? Yeah, probably. Uh, but anything particularly interesting? Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, you find Balthazar's tent, and in Balthazar's tent there are several books. Um, and you manage to, it's not hard to elude ogres, but mm -hmm. not particularly good at spotting stuff. <laughs> and yeah, you sneak in and have a look, and all of They're the all books... They're running around behind the tent <laughs> trying to find you. Where? <laughs> Where? Hide! Did she go? <laughs> yes, yes! And you're, yeah, they cannot, uh, you look at the books and they're mostly in a star lane. Uh, <laughs> but some of them have illustrations in them, mm. and you get the idea that these are fiction books. Oh. They're story books. Oh. Which are still, they're pretty rare, like books are expensive. Mm. Uh, unusual things, especially ones with illustrations. Those are, mm. these are valuable things. They're probably worth uh, quite a lot of gold. Mm. That's, that's treasure you could sell. Yeah. If, if it's the kind of thing you wanted to steal. Uh, books. Uh, <laughs> you can't stab so, someone with a book. <laughs> um, you, can I have a perception check from you because you're outside the camp? Yeah. Uh, that is, what's my perception? It's a roll quite well. Oh, where is perception? Where is it? Wisdom. Mm -hmm. What? Wisdom. Thank you. Uh, 19. 19 number, is number, number, number 19. Okay, on a, winning the Paul Hardcastle Award for mm -hmm. geometric randomization. Uh, <laughs> chat says, okay, now teach the ogres Marxism. Marxism. <laughs> <laughs> um, Death to the bourgeoisie. <laughs> uh, so you hear uh, the sound of a fairly large party trying to be sneaky. 
um, and you hear in Istarian, uh, It's this way! It's this way! Stop hitting us! Um, I'm going to get my group of ogres, mm -hmm. and I'm going to... <laughs> Where are they going? Back to the camp. Okay, you head the, back to the camp with your group of ogres. Uh, you make it into the camp, and uh, it's not hard. The state is an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, so I'm gonna head straight to Balthazar. Okay. Um, and say there is a group headed this way. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine there are going to be... Balthazar is uh, with all the really young ogres, mm -hmm. that's what um, Yeah, there is a group headed this way. I imagine mm. there are going to be Corinthian mages. <laughs> um, uh, you will need to defend your people, potentially. <sighs> that way. What? Why are Corinthian mages here? Uh, <laughs> we escaped from their boat. You have blood. An army of mages to my peaceful village. Uh, just two. No, they, I think they have their guards with them. Although the guards won't be mages, but... Mm. What? <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. Who should have opened with this? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know. Interlopers indeed. Yes, whatever it means. Very well. Then we shall marshal our defences and meet them head on. Horatio, bring all the books. Don't let them have a single one of these back. Balthazar, I've got a proposition for you. I am listening. Your diadem, I'm going to be honest. I have been researching this diadem for about ten years. Right. I've been looking at it. I'm, am I right in thinking that every time you pause when you're talking, you're actually hearing somebody called Zalber? Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> Good use of the word. I have got, the, with these books and the aid of your diadem, I could see these people off for you. I, I would just need to borrow it for ten minutes. And just communicate with whoever you are communicating with. Because if I think it is who it might be, they could be my descendant. Wait, you could be their I could be their <laughs> descendant. You are. Ask them, ask them. I will be right. I am making decisions. You, no, I am making decisions. What? What? Are, no. We, we must. I will help my people. Those. I. We can fight on our own. I found you. Please. You said you would help my people. And his hands reach up. And it looks like he's trying not to. I beg you not to do this, please. And he starts to pull the diadem off his head. I am going to cast suggestion on him. Sweet. To put it back on. I just. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna stab out. <laughs> Are you? No. No. You can, I mean, that, that's legit. This is PC complex. That's yeah. Uh, if, if that's what Horatio would be. He can take me. I'm just can, my can, I, can I put my hand over Iris's mouth? Uh, to try and interfere with the spell. Yes. Uh, uh, I guess. I promise I'll give it back. <laughs> so to try and he's going to try and make a wisdom save. Like makes a wisdom save. Uh, yeah, and so you um, just ignore it. But I will. If somebody, okay, I'll tell you what. If someone would like to, uh, you're you're trying to put your hand over the mouth. I'll give him an advantage. Uh, no, he uh, he makes his wisdom saving throw with a. So he can just carry on. Oh, I tried. Yeah, no, that's that's a really um. Um, okay, he's he's clearly struggling, um, and as you cast the spell, uh, there was a wing and it, uh, a shimmer around the diadem, mm. and it didn't happen. Please, and he hands the diadem of Zalba to you, Ooh. and. <sighs> thought as much. <laughs> and he uh, looks around. He's going to attack you now. What? <laughs> and he raises his club and swings it down towards you. 
How would you? And <laughs> you hear the sound of charging from over the hill. And coming up the hill towards you, you see that all of the guards that were on the Corinthian boat, as well as Clarissa and Brittany, cresting the hill. And Balthazar looks at you guys with sadness and incomprehension in his eyes. But he tries to find the words and can't. And that is where we are going to end this session. No! Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, guys, thank you very much for sticking with us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. This has been a... No, it was terrible. A bit of a downer. Yeah, let's go. Well, you didn't have to take the crown. Uh, I tried to. I know. I appreciate it. Uh, that has occurred. Uh, so, uh, thank yeah. you very much. For... Way to go, heroes. <laughs> If you have enjoyed this session, please. Wasn't me, it was the guard. Uh, if you have enjoyed the session, you can check us out every Thursday on twitch.tv forward slash cellpengm. You can chat to us in our Discord, link below. You can check us out on YouTube, link below, for all of our previous episodes. And hopefully, we will see you all next week when we will be losing a Murray, but gaining Yorg, who will lose his chicken form once again, presumably as the wizard Horatio takes a bunch of damage from a club. We'll see what happens. Until then, I'm gonna die. Keep rolling those dice. <laughs> <Yes, you are. laughs> I'm not sure I'm bringing you back. It was the right. hardest.